Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another gadget that's got the geek inside of me really excited. Now you're probably wondering what I'm doing standing outside in the middle of a rainstorm shooting this clip. Could I possibly have a piece of technology that's weatherproof enough where you can use it in pouring rain or in the middle of a snowstorm? And the honest answer is I do, and it's this weatherman umbrella that I'm holding. Now it's hard for me to get excited about something as mundane as an umbrella, but this company has really thought through the things you struggle with when you're outside in adverse conditions, and they've built enough cool technology into it to get me really excited about the future of what these products can do. So stay tuned and I'll take you inside and explain why I'm so darn excited about this brand new product from Weatherman. Now I'd like to show you what comes with the product and explain some of the key features that help to separate this Weatherman umbrella from all the other products on the market. Before I do though, in the spirit of full disclosure, they did send me this product for review, but let me explain how that happened. I spend a lot of my time on the road, which means I'm out in the rain an awful lot, so I'm always bringing an umbrella along with me. That usually ends in one of two ways. I either leave it behind at a restaurant or a client site, or I take it out in the street and the wind picks up and the umbrella folds backwards, which means I'm now walking through the rain on my way to a client getting soaking wet. So before I replace my last umbrella, I thought to myself, I wonder if this rain protection technology has advanced at all in the last 20 years. Let me sit down and do a search on the internet. And what I was looking for were two things. I was looking for robustness in an umbrella that wouldn't fold backwards, even in gusty winds. And second, I wonder if there's some nerdy technology that would remind me that I was about to walk away from my umbrella and leave it behind. And that's when I settled on the Weatherman product. The company that builds this really thinks through what people use umbrellas for and have tried to solve all the problems of leaving it behind and having it break on you and building in a lot of other cool features. And I'll get into those in a minute. So let me open up the box, show you what comes with it. Then I'll point out some of the key features that really separate it from the pack. So for starters, nice little box. Everything is self-contained. I open it up. Inside there, I've got a card. And I'll explain that in a minute. I've got the umbrella itself. It's a wonderful umbrella. I've got an instruction manual, and you're thinking, what do I need an instruction manual for? Hold on, it gets better. I've got a Bluetooth tracker. So let me get this box out of the way, and I'll explain all this stuff here. So I'll start with the card. I thought this was a really nice little touch. So it comes from the president of the company, and the card says, you know, we love the fact that you picked our umbrella over all the other ones. We're always interested in how you use it, what you think of it. So please send me an email. The guy's email is right on here. So when you buy this, if you have thoughts about it, or maybe there's something you're not happy about, send them an email and I'm sure they're going to get right back to you. There's an instruction manual. The instruction manual explains pretty much how to use this Bluetooth tracker. So inside this nice little case is this Bluetooth tracker. And inside the umbrella, I'll show you in a second, on the one side, there's a little... Uh, little space where you can unzip it, put this thing inside and zip it back up again. So what you've got technically is a beacon on the umbrella that marries up with your phone over Bluetooth that does a bunch of cool things. And I'll get into that in a minute, but let me talk about the umbrella now. So that's the Bluetooth tracker. The umbrella itself comes with a sleeve. Now I like a sleeve because uh, when I put it back in my car, I don't like to have the umbrella flapping all over the place where I'm putting it in a bag to travel. So having a sleeve over top of it is really nice. They also make a couple of different models of umbrella. Now, I like the compact version. That's plenty big enough for me to cover me in a rainstorm, but it's not gigantic where I can't actually fit it in my bag. They make larger ones that are the full golf size umbrellas. They make it in a variety of colors. They can print logos on it. So they really are a full, uh, a full service company, but I like the smaller ones. So I pull the sleeve off. Now, the first thing you're going to notice when I pull the sleeve off is I've got two bands that hold it closed. Now I know I'm getting super technical here, but a lot of the umbrellas I buy, even the more expensive ones, have typically one band in the middle, which means I've got flap out on both sides and it just doesn't really close that well. I also can't get it tight and I, I need it nice and small to fit in my bag and take along with me. So when I pull these two straps off, one of the first things you should notice is no matter what color umbrella you have, down at the bottom, it's got a strip of highly reflective tape. Now, that's super important because if I'm out near a road, once a headlights from a car hit this, it lights up. So they can't miss you. It's a very visible thing. That's a really nice safety feature. I mentioned as well that there's a flap on the side. So inside here, there's a little flap where you can actually insert this beacon into it. So once you turn this beacon on and marry it up with your phone, you've now got a connection to the umbrella that will actually let you know when you walk more than a certain distance away from the umbrella. And I had that happen before. I was in a restaurant. I was busy eating with my family. We got up, we left, and I got about, I don't know, 50 feet down the street. And my, my phone started vibrating. It's like, you knucklehead, you left your umbrella behind. Go back and get it. So I went back and got it. In addition to all the stuff I've mentioned, from a construction standpoint, which again was the main reason I was looking for a new umbrella, it's not a standard umbrella that uses like aluminum or steel ribbing inside the product. It's built with carbon fiber webbing inside the umbrella 
probably the most durable, light, flexible material you can buy nowadays. And it really does a great job of giving you the strength you need when the umbrella is fully, fully opened up. But it also is, is flexible enough that if you get a gust of wind, it's going to move a little bit and flex so that it doesn't break. All the other umbrellas I've used that have either aluminum ribbing or steel ribbing inside of it, some of the less expensive ones use real thin uh, steel ribs. The minute you get a gust, it's okay when there's just a wind, but the minute you get a gust, it folds the other direction. I'm going to take it outside in a little bit and show you in an incredibly windy day just how robust this thing's, thing is, and I'm going to compare it to two other umbrellas that I've got. One of them is a really cheap umbrella. The other one is a pretty much middle-of-the-road umbrella that I bought a ton of over the years and had fail on me. The last thing I'll mention about the umbrella is the exterior of this is coated. It's got a bit of a resin to it. It's not something you can feel, but it's actually in the fabric itself that repels water. Now, most umbrellas will repel water, but they're not they're not going to dry very quickly. So if you've taken an umbrella inside and put it down in the corner, you go back to it an hour later, it's still soaking wet and you've made the floor wet and everything else. This one has the ability to sort of dry very, very quickly. So I love that I can bring it to a client, shake it off before I walk through the door, put it down on the floor. And if I'm having a 25, 30 minute conversation, I'll go back to the umbrella and pick it up and it's dry. And I'm, I'm just blown away by that. So I love that as well. It's got a quick release button down here in the, uh, the handle to actually pop it open. You can pull it. I can't open it here. I'm inside, but you can pull it back down from there and I'll show you how it works outside. So that's pretty much the umbrella. The instructions manual, I mentioned that before. We'll walk you through how you actually marry up the, um, the beacon with your phone. Now, in addition to keeping track of where your umbrella is, there's an application that goes along with this called the Weatherman app. If you load that on your phone, you'll not only get that alarm if you walk too far away from your umbrella, but more importantly, you can find your umbrella. So if you have left it behind, you can use your phone to sort of navigate back to where the umbrella is using that Bluetooth connection. But the thing I love the most about it is the application itself has what's called hyperlocal weather, which means it knows exactly where you're sitting and it's going to predict the weather for a 24 hour period around where you're standing so that if you're leaving in the morning, you may not know, is it going to rain today? Is it going to rain this afternoon? I don't know. Let me check the weather. Forget all that. That application will tell you in the morning, Rick, it's going to rain today. You want to bring that umbrella with you. So it reminds me before I walk out the door that, yeah, I probably should have that umbrella with me. Unbelievably cool stuff. So I know it sounds kind of goofy that I'm getting excited about an umbrella, but the nerd in me looks at stuff like this from the construction enhancements they've made to it, to the Bluetooth topology they built into it to make the connection to let me know I've walked away from it, to the hyper-local weather. These guys have solved all my problems with umbrellas. So stay tuned. I'm going to take you outside in a really stiff wind that I took me almost a week to find a day to do this test where I'm going to show you just how flimsy most umbrellas are compared to this guy in a really, really stiff wind. Today I'm outside on a really windy day for a field test of the brand new Weatherman umbrella. Now I've got the Weatherman in my hands here. I've got two other competing brands on the ground in front of me and I'll show you when I go through this what really separates the Weatherman umbrella from the other ones that I've used. Now I love the fact that it folds up nice and small. It's got two wraps on it to make sure that it keeps the top and the bottom closed. As small a package as possible to slide into your bag or the back of your car. To open the umbrella, you basically pull those two wraps off, push the button on the handle, and the umbrella unfolds. Now you'll notice the wind is blowing this thing incredibly hard and it's not folding backwards. There's two things I really care about with an umbrella. Number one, that it keeps me dry, obviously. And the second is, in a windy situation like this, the last thing I want is for this umbrella to fold that direction. Because I've trusted the umbrella and I've brought it with me to keep me dry during a rainy day. And if this thing folds in that direction on me, I can't use it as an umbrella. And I've also got to get rid of it. So the reason the Weatherman is built so strong compared to other umbrellas is that the actual ribs in the top of this that are holding that cloth tight are made of carbon fiber. Now I love carbon fiber. It's the strongest material that you can get that's also flexible, which is important in an umbrella frame to be able to absorb that gusting wind going forward. Now I'm trying as hard as I can to make this thing fold backwards and it's not happening. The other thing I love about this umbrella is the material that it's made from. A lot of umbrellas use like nylon materials or a composite of nylon and they stay wet for a very long time. This has a special uh, fast drying material that the umbrella is made out of so when I take this back inside and shake off the water from it, it dries incredibly fast. So I can put this thing down literally in a couple of minutes and have a dry umbrella. You can see how the wind is pulling that and it's still staying strong. Let me close it up just so I don't really take it out. But the material this is made from again is incredibly quick drying which I love because when I bring it into a client's office or if I'm shopping and I have to bring it with me to a restaurant, uh, I can put it down and know that it's dry by the time I get back outside. Now, I'm going to do a torture test on these two other umbrellas in front of me. 
I have two umbrellas here. This one is a $10 umbrella. Now, normally it's a $2 umbrella, but if you've ever been in New York City, when it starts raining, a $2 umbrella immediately becomes a $10 umbrella because you need it to be able to walk around the city. So I'll open this one in a second. I don't expect it's going to survive this wind. And then I have another one here that's a little bit more of an expensive. It's about a $30 umbrella, and it's made by one of the major manufacturers out there. So let me pop these two open and show you how they handle the wind. First, we'll start with this one. This should be a pretty quick test. It's got the same kind of flip mechanism on the handle. I'll open it up. It opens up immediately, pretty good. Holding out, oh, there it goes. That was it. That didn't take much work at all, and I've got an umbrella that's totally useless at this point. So there's your $10 umbrella. Literally 10 seconds into opening that on a windy day like this in New York City, that's what I'm dealing with. You want to talk about embarrassing. All right, so let's get, I can't even fold that guy up at this point. All right. Let's put that guy down. So we kind of expected that with the $10 umbrella, but let's take a look at the one that's 30 bucks. Now, again, it's a very nice looking umbrella. I've used these in the past. I've had these fold on me in the past. Opens up the same way, a little handle on the end there. I'll pull it out against the wind. Let me give it a little jerk there. Seems like it's holding in there pretty well. So let's give it a minute, that wind get to it. So looks like it's hanging in there. So not too bad for a $30 umbrella, but I can see some of the ribs already starting to bend on the top of that. Now, you're not gonna do this as a torture test when you're out for the day. But if you've got this thing up and these ribs start bending on you and flexing, it's gonna look kind of wonky the next time you use it. But more importantly, if this thing finally gives, and it may not actually give, well, there it goes, there it goes. So that wasn't me doing anything funny, it was just the wind taking over. And again, a $30 umbrella compared to the weatherman that I've opened up in this incredibly strong wind and haven't had the thing fold, well, I can't even fold this guy up at this point. All right, so those two are totally trashed. And again, I don't like spending money on expensive products, but I find that every dollar I've spent on this Weatherman umbrella is totally worth it because it's the only one I take with me from a durability perspective. Never had it fold up on me. I like the fact that it can dry itself very quickly. And more than that, I'm a geek. And the fact that this has got a beacon in it that lets me know that I left it behind in a restaurant when I walk away and it beeps my phone because of the Bluetooth connection. And also the fact that the application in the mornings will tell me today's the day to bring your umbrella along with you just takes a lot of the hassle out of my travel. So if you're looking for an unbelievably cool umbrella, this Weatherman is the one to go with and I can totally recommend it. I hope that was helpful in showing you just how well these Weatherman umbrellas can handle a strong and gusting wind. And the wind was blowing so hard out there that day that when I first popped this guy open, it almost pulled me over. And if you look close at the end of that last section, you can see the tripod and the camera actually shaking from the gusts of wind that were blowing by. So it wasn't a big surprise to me that those other two umbrellas failed as quickly as they did because they're not really built to take those kind of conditions. I'm sure they'd be fine for a light drizzle or maybe a little bit of rain, but how do you know that's not gonna turn into a heavy downpour, then all of a sudden gusting wind shows up, and the next thing you know, you're standing out in the pouring rain with your umbrella folded backwards and you're getting soaking wet. So for me, I wanna bring an umbrella like this along with me that I know can handle those conditions. And the reason this is so good at handling those conditions is because the geniuses at Weatherman sat down and said, how do we build a stronger frame that's also flexible? So they started with carbon fiber, like I'd mentioned before, which is the perfect material because it's lightweight, it's durable, and more importantly, it's flexible. And that flexibility is important because as those gusting winds come along, there's a lot of kinetic energy inside there, and the umbrella has to be able to move and absorb that kinetic energy. So having a carbon fiber frame really fixes all those problems for you. Matter of fact, they talk about this handling a 55 mile an hour gust. Now, I wouldn't recommend taking an open umbrella out in a wind that's strong, but it's good to know that it can handle most of the winds and the storms I've seen. In addition to that, they've built it out of a material that's quick drying. So I can take it into a building, put it down on the floor, have my little meeting or have a lunch, go back, pick it up, and it's bone dry. I love the fact that it doesn't hang on the water. I like the fact that it's got safety strips on the end of it. They've built a Bluetooth beacon into it. The beacon gives you an idea of where the umbrella is. If you walk away from it, it reminds you to go back and pick it up. It'll tell you what the weather's going to be like today if you open up the application. And the best part for me is that when I get up in the morning, I open up the application and it tells me, Rick, it's going to be a bad day, take the umbrella with you. So it takes all the guesswork out of it. I just love that. And as a nerd, you're probably thinking, how can I get this excited about an umbrella? Well, as a nerd, these guys had me at carbon fiber. You hit all this other stuff in and I'm, I'm totally in on this product. So I love it. And if you're out there shopping for an umbrella, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this is gonna be a little bit more expensive than the average umbrella you're buying. But think about it, if you're gonna buy an umbrella for half the price of this, and it folds backwards on you twice in one year, you've already paid for this product. So I love it, I use it, I would recommend it. Um, and I think this company is really onto something with the umbrellas they're building. They've just got a, a perfect mix of technology 
and durability and functionality. And that's all I really care about because at the end of the day, I put these clips together to give you guys a feel for what I find cool in the tech space. And although this is really high tech, you don't have to charge it and plug it in and all the other cool stuff. It, it's a wonderful product that has a lot of technology built into it. So hopefully you found this clip helpful. If you have questions about this product at all, drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. I love doing these kind of clips. So hopefully you're finding value in it. I just think this is a wonderful product. It's a little outside the tech space, but still got a lot of nerd stuff in it. So that's what gets me excited. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today. So thanks a lot for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.